Hi everybody out there in social media land. It's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving and I'm having two Thanksgivings this year. In about an hour, I'm going across the street to my neighbors and they're having a big party with folks in the neighborhood. And I tried to figure out why in the world they did this and then it dawned on me, that's so, that tomorrow we can all go visit our families if we want to do that. Mine is out of town tomorrow, so I'm going to dinner with an old friend of mine from London who lives here part of the year and then back there the rest of the year when he's not traveling and we're gonna to go to Riz Chris for dinner. So I asked my neighbor, what can I bring? And she said, well, her companion loves Brussels sprouts. So what I've been doing here, first I cleaned the Brussels sprouts and then I peeled off all those outer leaves and cut off the stems and cut them in half. And then I steamed them for about 10 minutes I don't know about you, but I don't like raw vegetables when they're supposed to be cooked. So that's what I did. And then I filled this pan, not filled it, about two or three tablespoons of olive oil. And then I took those Brussels sprouts that had kind of drained and dried off and I sauteed them until they were kind of brown. And then I took those out of the pan and I peeled and chopped three shallots, or you might call them a shallot. Just finely chop them and brown them in here. And the next I wanna do is this. Put in some white wine with all those pan juices. So I'm getting ahead of myself here a little. And as the shallot started to cook, then I added four or five cloves of chopped garlic and sauteed those. Before they got brown or burnt or anything, just so softened them up and piled them in with the already cooked Brussels sprouts. And then the last thing that I did was chop up about four ounces of really good Italian prosciutto. And got that all brown. So if you look and see here, there's prosciutto and there's onions and garlics and there's the Brussels sprouts. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just adding a little white wine to the pan. I'm gonna let the alcohol cook out. Well, you're supposed to. <laughs> you don't pour booze in a dish. And I'm gonna boil it down and then I'm gonna pile these in there. And I'm gonna take it off the heat and I'm gonna cover it because it needs to be reheated right before we sit down to eat. And I'm not really sure when that's gonna be. So what am I wearing? I thought I'll get dressed ahead of time. And I live in a very liberal-minded community where people don't usually wear a lot of clothes. So I'm wearing my sheer tiger dress. It's nude, the brown is nude, and the stripes are all black velvet. And as you can see, it's sheer. But I have a bra and I have some little fawn panties on and I'll walk over here so you can see it. Not a lot of light over here, but there's more right here. So as this cooks down here a little bit and the alcohol evaporates out, then I'm going to add the Brussels sprouts back in, cover it up and then reheat it later when we're ready to eat. So I wanted to wish you a happy Thanksgiving early if you're here in the United States and I'm sure wherever you live around the world you have a day where you say thank you for being a citizen of the country that you're in. This is one of our very biggest holidays here and there's two and a half million people on the road today, two million people flying Every day, people go home and they're with their families and friends and they sit down at the table. We, it, you would call it a groaning board, more food than anybody would ever need. But the main reason is to say thank you for all that we have, the blessings that we have when so many in this world have nothing. And believe me, I've thought of that a lot today, how blessed we all are. Um, you can always send money to the Red Cross. 
you can help Ukraine. There's countries all over the world where people are starving and in desperate need. So if we could send our leftovers, it would be great. But we can't. So we can help that way. So let's pass, pay it forward and share what we have and be grateful. Enjoy you and yours. This is going up Wednesday on YouTube and Instagram. And tomorrow, we're all going to be busy. So I'll see you next week. Love you all. Thank you. Namaste.